Visión Comunal, en contacto con las comunidades. Venezuela in the news. News from the Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela. Headlines. The MUD is authorized to request a referendum. The National Electoral Council announced that the Public Prosecutor's Office investigates electoral fraud. Venezuela maintains intact its oil investment policy. Authorities of the National Electoral Council announced Monday that in the 24 states of the country, the opposition accomplished the collecting of 1% of the signatures required to authorize the opposition political party coalition MUD to request a hypothetical recall referendum. In press conference, the chair of the National Electoral Board, Tibisay Lucena, affirmed that nearly 400,000 signatures were validated. Now, according to the electoral rules, the MUD will have two days to request the referendum. An opposition spokesperson said that the request shall be presented immediately to the authorities. The National Electoral Council did not precise the date of the beginning of the second stage, which consists in the collection of 4 million signatures to activate a recall referendum that would take place in 2017. Authorities of the Electoral Power alerted that the Public Prosecutor's Office investigates the possibility of an electoral fraud committed by the opposition during the first stage of the process. The National Electoral Council received two requests from the Public Prosecutor's Office of information for investigation. President of the Electoral Council, Tibisay Lucena, also confirmed that the United Socialist Party of Venezuela requested the investigation of what they labeled as the worst fraud in the democratic history of Venezuela. Spokesman of the government's high political command, Jorge Rodriguez, announced yesterday that there were too many irregularities to allow the process to proceed and that the recall referendum was, quote, legally dead. Ciudad Caracas News Portal reported yesterday that the average cost of the Venezuelan imports tripled itself between the years of 2000 and 2012 alerting about the sustained overcharging process perpetrated by the trading bourgeoisie through a mechanism referred to as importer fraud. The data cited by this electronic media was obtained from the foreign trade data platform of the National Statistics Institute. In the year 2000, the average cost for each kilo of imported goods settled at $1.06, evidencing an increase of nearly 300%. The international purchases raised from 14 billion kilos in the year 2000 to 17,958,000,000 in 2012. Venezuela in the news. The Uruguayan government admitted to sell milk at high prices to Venezuela, as announced by the Vice Minister of Livestock, Enzo Benich, cited yesterday in the news agency EFE. The meetings with the producers of the Department of Colonia Benich were held in view of the Council of Ministers to be held yesterday, headed by the Uruguayan president, Tabaré Vázquez. The Spanish news agency reported that Uruguay will aim to continue selling milk products to Venezuela, where it is one of their historical customers. The main dairy cooperative, Benich, affirmed that they charge 100% of its sales to Venezuela. Caracas confirmed that the Venezuelan government signed important oil company alliances last week, despite that the crude prices remain low. The government also confirmed energy agreements in the Caribbean. The Venezuelan oil basket initiated the week at $35 a barrel, averaging this year at $32, much lower than last year's $44.65 and 2014's $88.42. The fall of the prices did not prevent last week's signing of a joint investment agreement between state oil company PDVSA and the Russian company Rosneft for $20 billion dollars to increase the Venezuelan crude and gas production. News from the Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela. Headline. The MUD is authorized to request a referendum. The National Electoral Council announced that the Public Prosecutor's Office investigates electoral fraud. Venezuela maintains intact its oil investment policy. Venezuela in the news. News from the Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela. Visión Comunal, en contacto con las comunidades.